Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The UK government says they are going to rescue the climate. They say they're going to cut UK CO2 emissions 81% by the year 2035. Ed Miliband said there is no national security or economic security without climate security. In this video, I'm not going to discuss climate. This short video is about discussing the goals laid out by UK Labour. From November 3rd through November 6th, wind and solar produced almost no electricity in the United Kingdom because the wind wasn't blowing and the sun wasn't shining. These periods of little or no wind are actually quite common. They occurred several times during October. From November 3rd through November 6th, almost two-thirds of UK electricity was generated by burning natural gas. There's no way for the UK to reduce CO2 emissions by 81% unless they're planning on shutting down a large percentage of the country and a large percentage of the economy. Wind and solar are inherently unreliable forms of energy. These politicians don't understand where the electricity comes from, and that is a showstopper. And there's another fatal problem with UK's plans. The UK has no control over global CO2 emissions. The UK could literally disappear off the map, and it would have no measurable impact on the growth of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This is because Asian CO2 emissions are skyrocketing. The UK is nearly irrelevant. Asian countries are building or planning on building nearly 1,000 new coal-fired power plants. No matter what you believe about CO2, the UK has no control over the climate. UK labor is planning on doing great damage to the UK economy over meaningless virtue signaling. Britain may have ruled the waves 200 years ago, but they certainly don't anymore. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on these clowns for more than 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.